So Arya Shuri, <laughs> I'm delighted to be speaking with you today. Um, just for the benefit of our listeners, uh, we have had some uh, a few conversations before this recorded uh, conversation, and it's been a delight, real delight to get to know you. I've just said to you um, that despite us being separated by thousands of miles and currently 11 hours, I still feel as though we've made a significant connection and a and I've really enjoyed our our connection so far. So I'm very I'm very 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 pleased that we're in this conversation. I think you've got a lot of good things to say. So welcome, Harry Shuri. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, when when I was started talking to you about local mm. care networks, mm. I, I I did get quite excited because I thought, you know, if 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 we can really unite. So I always think of Dada Rinpoche's motto, mm. you know, um, live united, radiate love. And it's like, I think there's something really in there about mm. let's unite. So there's something about pooling resources mm. um, so that we can really have, have a good awareness mm. of each other as a whole. Mm. Um, and yeah, and I just think collectively we are Ablakateshra. We can be Ablakateshra mm. rather than separately, singly. And um, mm. you know, and I think yeah, I think we already help and give each other a lot mm. of care and love within our order. It's not that that doesn't happen. I've seen it over mm. and over. Yeah, you know, there is a lot of love. Yeah. There's a lot of care. People yeah. taking people on. Um, but I'm also aware that that um, that that the order is is quite wide and mm. diverse, and that's really great. Um, and in that diversity, um, there there is a lot of um, there's a lot of different temperaments and people living different lifestyles. Mm. So some people can actually be more naturally quiet. Mm. Um, that you know that's just who their personalities mm. are. They're quiet. Mm. Uh, some people prefer a more reclusive lifestyle mm. and some can be less socially connected mm. just in relation to the, their personality mm. um, and so the difficulty is, is as those quieter people get older mm. if they're not so connected and going to lots of order things for whatever reason mm. there's just that worry that some people could drop off the radar mm. So I just thought well, the local care networks could act as a way of um, just just being more aware of all of us collectively. Um, so sort of acting as that radar, um, as well as um, being the place where the resources can can approach, mm. um, and but also. Uh, be asking for help mm. so I think it's a very uh, you know I sort of see it as a very sort of dynamic thing mm. and it's not a, you know it's not where people have a sense of entitlement or people feel burdened or anything like that mm. it's just more uh, you know that principle of give what you can so mm. people who you know they actually quite like gardening and they don't mind doing it once a month they might not do it want to do it more than that but they're happy to give up once a month well, it's like somewhere we can put that in the pot so mm. that um, if someone does need some gardening doing, we can match we can match um, mm. what people are willing to give um, mm. with what people need. Mm. Um, and, you know, that's something we'll probably mm. talk more about later on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, th well thanks, Arish. Um, uh, Loka Banda did an uh, analysis of the demographic of the order I think about three, three or four years ago. Um, and looking at that analysis, it also did some predictions about looking forward to including to 2024. And uh, and and you currently around 30% of the order will be over 80 this year. But of course, in 10 years time, this number will increase and it's predicted to increase to around 60%. So the, this, you know, the the, the aging demographic of the order is in itself a salutary and sobering figure. And and care, like you say, Aris Shuri, is happening in the order, and it's happening really well. It's happening very movingly. Care based upon friendship, 
and it's a it's a really uh, excellent example of and there's many in the order of of the order responding to to each other to help look after ourselves but my my concern and this is one of the drivers of the local care networks was um our current approach of looking after each other in a kind of an ad hoc way based on friendship important as it is my question is is this will this bit provide enough resource to effectively respond to the anticipated rise in care needs as the order ages i am not so sure um and i think it's important that we prepare now for when large numbers of, of us larger numbers of us do advance into old age so as i say that was that was a real that's been a real driver for me for um helping local sangers kind of get more organized around care um it's 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 as much preparation as we you know, preparing sangers as responding to actual situations mm -hmm. and as you say there are there are a lot of order members who are on the periphery of sangers who don't who, for whatever reason for example don't or can't get to centers um who will need um or as they age, some kind of support i would like us to move on to the practicalities of how local care networks could work as a collective endeavor in local sanghas so the important point is collective endeavor i think because we are not in local care networks are not in the business of of, of putting more stuff onto people's shoulders individuals it's more look getting uh people to think about this collectively and act collectively so mm -hmm. for example in in our previous conversations you've mentioned approaching care from a regional perspective so can we start with that I idea uh, as an example of how the practicalities of how local care networks could work could you say a bit about that yeah um I suppose just my thinking was, I suppose having spent that time in the UK mm. where there's a lot more people, they're mm. divided up into, is it five regions mm. now? Mm. Um, so because because of the number of people, you've got five different regions, whereas mm. around the world, New Zealand, you know, I suppose we're regional to where the centres are, like in, mm. you know, Thames, Auckland, Wellington. So mm. I suppose we've got three regions. Mm. So um i suppose the idea of being uh working more as like like um separating or well not separating but working within a region mm. is um i think we can we can have an overview mm. of the order you know mm. and hey everything might be fine and covered you know people you know they might start deteriorating with the illness and you know the family's taking it on mm. and that order member's happy with that mm. and but it's just it's just having the overview that mm. as things happen and change and if people deteriorate or they mm. need help mm. that we kind of have that hook mm. yeah, that's quite nice like a hook of compassion it's mm. like you, mm. you 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 just become aware of it mm. and in in seeing that there is there is a little bit of a gap mm. that's when we can call on, mm. um, can, you know, we can call on resources mm. from other order members mm. or the sangha, depending on what's mm. needed. Mm. So, yeah, I, I suppose that's what I was thinking in terms of regions. Mm. It's easier to have an overview mm. of a piece of the order. And as I'm saying it, I'm thinking about, you know, the different heads of Ablikatesh, Rabante, mm. Soros, the chapters looking out. Mm. And I just sort of think, oh, you know, we could almost have, um, you know, like a similar mm. thing of of the regions looking out. So mm. aspects of the order mm. are looking at one particular part of the order, even though we're part of a whole. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what oh, I was right. thinking about. Okay. Um, so, within regions, yeah. Okay. So does any, uh, for example, regional order con conveners listening then? Wow, that sounds like a good idea to me. Um, yeah. I mean, there's lots of other practical ways, isn't there, as well? Um, and again, it's something which we've uh, discussed. And this isn't necessarily a practical way, but 
I've spoken to a few order members recently who are order members because they asked for ordination based upon witnessing the response of order member to order member in, in times of need and care. So uh, this is something you said uh, to me is that, you know, the local care networks could be used for newcomers uh, to outline ways in which we can practice metta bhavana beyond the more formal meditation practice. Mm. So that that's mm. that's a kind of uh, uh, a practical, an inspirational practical way local care numbers could be held up to to the, to the sangha. But you've also mentioned a few other uh, practical examples. Do you want to say okay. those, or do you want me to? Yeah, no, I've got a few mm. written down here. Mm. So, um, yeah, I suppose the way that some, you know, the idea of, of helping each other within the Sangha, just there's mm. things like attending um, mm. health with each other. That's often a big mm. one for people. People yeah. are often yeah. anxious and sometimes quite big decisions are made. Yeah. And also because often the person who it's about is nervous, mm. it's good to have a second pair of ears to... Mm remember mm. what's been said, what's gone mm. on, mm. and also witness what's been said to mm. that person. Um, yeah, so that's, I think, attending medical appointments is a big one. I think um, another way we can help is if there's any equipment floating around. Um, so things like um, frames for around toilets and maybe a walker. So, mm. you know, if someone suddenly, you know, you know, um, fractures their ankle or something mm. like that sometimes there can be a delay mm. getting certain bits of equipment so it is quite good to have a little bit available um another way that sangha could really help and i've seen this where families and good friends do this out in the community is sometimes people have uh, problems with their care packages so people who have uh, you know they're eligible to have their help mm. with their food being mm. done and things like that mm. but then when it comes to it people don't show up they don't mm. do a very good job mm. um or sometimes the care package falls short so in New Zealand it doesn't include gardening or window washing or um yeah and so it's just having someone I suppose just because someone gets a care package doesn't mean that they're completely covered so it's good mm. to check on that um another one that you've you've already mentioned is that thing of of just having that human co just having contact mm. there's a lot of people as they get older can um you know they can feel a loneliness they can feel an isolation and yeah i think i think it's just just clocking that really and just being prepared to go and visit Mm -hmm. As you say, your visits in hospital were really important. Yeah. Yeah. But I think as we get older, especially people who, um, you know, they're, they're, they're not so mobile, really good to have people going in and visiting. So, mm. yeah, they're just quite simple things, as well as the more energetic things like washing windows and gardening. But, yeah, just being prepared to go and visit really and make mm. that link. Mm. Um, and I think the people, I think the givers get as much out of it as the receivers. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. So I just, I think sangha wise, it could be really enriching. Mm. I think there's something about, mm. you know, a lot of really good practice with meditation and um, friendships. Mm. Um, you know, that's all really good, but it's like we can almost add to that. Mm. that of trying to extend our practice into mm. into actually responding mm. you know if we've seen that there is mm. suffering because we're mm. all in it we're all mm. in there's a lot of suffering around mm. <laughs> in varying degrees and it's like yeah there's just something about responding to yeah. that yeah. um I think it's I think it's very empowering for the mm. giver and I think it's really um yeah it's just you know for the receiver mm. obviously it's it's mm. great so mm. yeah there's something about bringing just bringing that into the practice mm. it doesn't have to be really heavy it's just mm. but um you know I just like when I visited the UK last year and um I was I was really lucky to um go into one of the approach road houses where I live mm. next door but it was quite noticeable the gardens could have done with a tidy up you know <laughs> and I just thought oh 
it'd just be so nice for someone to just go and offer, you know if I was 20 years younger and staying here I'd love to offer to go and do the garden you know and so it's just something like that where someone who liked gardening they'd love to get their garden tidied up and I hope you're not listening. Well, that's what I was, I was going to say. If anybody's listening <laughs> no, who lives in the Pro communities. But I'm just using this as a, as a practical example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I know. Yeah. 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 But it, it's not, and this is something we've also talked about, it's not just about responding to actual situations which need to be responded to. It's also helping people plan as well, isn't it? When, when health starts to deteriorate, there needs to be a planning towards that gradual decline, that inevitable yeah. gradual decline. Yes, yeah. yes. So, it's so often... especially, sorry, I was going to say, especially in England, that like yeah. you've got a lot of steps, like you know, often ah, it's yeah, yeah. multi-leveled. Yeah. Luckily, we don't have that issue quite so much over here. But yeah, um, yeah, it's like if someone's got arthritic knees and they mm. live in a mm. house that's got stairs, mm. then I'm just, I'm just saying that's an example of of just maybe sitting with that person and thinking about what will the next steps be if you can't eventually get up the stairs. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. Very, very good. Very good. Again, there's a lot I could say about that from my own experience after, after my stroke, but um, people really helped me look forward and, and to plan for, well, support which i needed for um two years actually post-stroke i needed some kind of support and intervention both professional and also friendship mm. great um and something i just like to return to something which we've already spoken about and uh, and that is your vision um vision and motivation for us to care is directly linked to our dharma practice i think and that's something you've made clear about and you've linked it specifically to avila kateshra um which i'm going to ask you to say something more about that um well could you say something more about that how your practice of care is linked to your dharma practice in particularly uh, avila kateshra okay um this, the question's been asked slightly differently, so yeah. I have to do this off the cuff, but that's not a bad thing. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, I think, well, the Thousand Armed Avalokiteshra, like some of the other Bodhisattvas, mm. you know, the hat that the eye is in mm. the hand, very mm. sensitive hand. And so for me, my practice, I feel, is trying to see clearly you know ideally with wisdom mm. <laughs> but as clearly as i can for who i am mm. and respond appropriately to that mm. so it's as simple as that really mm. um and you know ablakatesha is the bodhisattva of compassion so mm. yeah mm. i think it's i think it's um that thing of just in response to suffering mm. um that mm. meter going outwards mm. Mm. yeah yeah so um and also i just think mm. yeah i think the um i think that story of the of the monks um mm. you know who, who are with the buddha mm. yeah and where you know we all know the story where there's where you know he's of no use to us that's mm. why we're not bothering with him and leaving in his own extra mm. and the buddha mm. Mm. actually stopping taking the time mm. and cleaning up that monk mm. um so mm. to me there's a real teaching in mm. Mm. we need to stop and take the time to care for each other mm. Mm. literally mm. you know we can't go we can't go walking past people in need because mm. we have to get to mitra study or something there's mm -hmm. You know, there, there's a there's a, a paradox there. It's like there's something. Mitra study is really important, mm. but if there's if there's a need there, it mm. might not be as extreme as you know that that example from the scriptures. But mm. yeah, I think there's something about um, keeping mm. our awareness of the collective mm. 
alive. Yeah. yeah. And I've I've been yeah. thinking about it. I've just been thinking mm. we need to be yeah. not just aware of ourselves, but aware of ourselves as the whole order and looking out for each other. Right. Mm. Yes. Yes, because you, you've also mentioned a really interesting point in a previous conversation that we can't all be Dharma teachers at centres. But um, so a local care network could give opportunities for people to practice in a, in a different way. Uh, yes, and, and that right. way it would be to, 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 to help look after others. I think that's a really important point as well. You know, yeah. Dharma, Dharma practice is, is, uh, has many facets to it, and it's not just teaching there's also giving and that that really great point there you just finished off with about just not walk around thinking me 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 as an order member it's but it's me as an order member being in an order of thousands of others mm. Mm. Yeah. because it's interesting when, when i sit down to meditate it's not uh i don't necessarily sit down to think well what can i get out of this meditation it's more um well, if I can develop certain qualities of mind, such as mindfulness and metta, more strongly, then that is my gift to the world. It's I can interact with the world more powerfully from those um, qualities and therefore impact the world more. And I think it's a bit like that with care, isn't it? They, that expression to somebody that you are willing to make the effort to come and come around and, and see them is, is invaluable. Mm. You know, it's like when I was in the hospital, I couldn't go to people. So people had to come to me. And I was just, I mean, I couldn't say this because I couldn't speak, but I was just so grateful for people making the effort. It really, really touched me. Mm. 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 And I do, I, you know, I mean, the order's great. There's some yeah. wonderful people. I'm not saying that people aren't doing it. It's, mm. they, they definitely are. But I think for me the local care network idea is mm. is is just um bringing it all together mm. and just making sure no one's falling through the gaps mm. basically yeah. and also which on the whole i don't think many people have or do mm. um but as the order gets bigger yeah. and older and mm. there's more people that are peripheral yeah. it's just that thing of just yeah. making sure yeah. that we're you know that, that that everyone's included not yeah that everyone's included there's something yeah. about inclusiveness yeah. um and also that there is a wonderful you know there's a really wonderful resource there mm. of if if people you know half half the problem is knowing that there mm. is a need and a problem yeah so you know that's yeah. why i've gone on and on yeah. about yeah. Well, not on and on but yeah. that's what that's why i've said about being aware mm. because once, once you know what what needs to happen and who mm. it is then mm. it's a case of mm. finding the resources and mm. i just really like the idea mm. of um somehow having a framework that those resources can mm. be found mm. so you know it might just be an announcement at mm. a class yeah. hey is anyone available to go to the hospital with mm. joe blogs mm. you know is feeling mm. a bit nervous going mm. on his own you know mm anyone oh would you that's lovely so so it mm -hmm. could be as simple as that mm -hmm. but yeah it's just seeing the need and mm -hmm. then um mm -hmm. finding the resource mm -hmm. for it yeah yeah i think that's a really important point you've again you've made there is that the local care network which, which are developing here in the uk one thing is that sangers just do don't realize how much skill expertise experience resource is within the sangha until somebody says hey um is anybody willing to do x y and z or hey is uh i'm, I'm compiling a, a kind of a list of people who are who have certain skills and, and, and so on and are willing to give it to others it's it's quite incredible actually mm. Mm. it's really really simple and straightforward and i'm glad that we're we're kind of leaving this on a really positive note we're rejoicing in the order and local care networks are there to rejoice even further and 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 build upon um the practice of metta which again you've made clear is not present in 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 all traditions you know metta is is emphasized in in tree ratna uh, as mm -hmm. a practice um as as the bodhisattva ideal is so thank you very much arishuri i 
I've really appreciated your energy as I thought I would, as always have done passion and enthusiasm, not just for you as an individual, but also for your um, your outward looking uh, nature, you know, your your desire, your passion, enthusiasm for for this need to look after each other in the order. And I really hope that our listeners will be moved, deeply moved to think about how they could perhaps make a difference in their local situation. I mean, you've already cheekily mentioned, uh, referred to one, in other words, uh, uh, gardening. <laughs> I maybe uh, shouldn't have said that. <laughs> it's fine. It's I was fine. trying to come up with an example. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I'm sorry. I'm being, uh, I'm being mischievous referring to that. But to our, getting back to our listeners, uh, yeah, get in touch. Um, we can we can have a Zoom call together to share ideas and and something great and tangible arise. So if you are interested in in uh, in in, in um, getting together in, in a Zoom call with others who share your interest, enthusiasm for uh, looking after each of the local care networks, um, it said just send me an email and it's Mahashrada at a bioratma trust.org all one word a bioratma trust and and similarly if you want to find out more about local care networks then you can do by visiting our the, the bioratma trust website which is www.abioratma trust.org um and you can also get my email address in there as well just google a bioratma trust as well a bioratma is spelled a B H A Y A R A T N A. So thank you very much, Arisha. It, as as expected, it's been a real delight. And uh, uh, well, it's good night. It's good day, if you see what I mean. Here, yeah. It's good night to you because in the yeah, in I'm the, off to bed after this. You're off to bed. Yeah, yeah. It looks like I'm off to bed. looks like your cat but is I've already. Been... Yeah, he's 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 she's waiting for me to go to bed. I think. Okay, all right. Um, but I just I just say I think I think it could be something quite wonderful for everyone. So sadhu for the idea of local care networks. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you. thank you, Arushri. I do like. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you.